Welcome back to NFL Imperialism. But today I am using this roster of all time teams. This is my second Imperialism video. Also, shout out to Dean's Roll again for the NFL Imperialism idea. It's amazing. But let me go over the rules real quick again. So, all 32 teams have their own territory on this US map. I'm going to spin this wheel of random NFL teams to decide who's the attacking team. And then I spin this arrow to see which direction the team is going to go. And that will decide what the matchups will be. The empty spaces will come into play this time, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So we have the Chiefs with Tyreek Hill back on the team, getting attacked by Mike Ditka, Dick Butkus, Roquan Smith, and the Chicago Bears. So let's see how this first matchup is going to go as the Bears take the lead to start things off in. And I'm actually kind of surprised the Chiefs are struggling to score right now. Maybe a different story in quarter number two. They get three points on the board here, but... Okay, now they take the lead. So this is more of what I thought the Chiefs were going to do. And they have the lead going into halftime. Do the Chiefs extend the lead or do the Bears tie it up? They do tie it up. The Chiefs get three points right before the fourth quarter, though. Let's see how this drive is going to go for the Bears as they take the lead back. Do the Chiefs answer here? They're on a drive and they get the touchdown. So our first game of the video is going to come down to the wire, it looks like. The Bears got to get at least three here. Right before the two-minute warning, Justin Fields chilling in the backfield. Is that really their best quarterback? I guess the other options would be what? Jim McMahon and Rex Grossman. Gator legend Rex Grossman. <laughs> but let's see what Justin Fields could do here. After the two-minute warning, scrambling and... Oh, I thought he just threw a pick, but it's dropped. Justin Fields is super lucky that wasn't picked. That clanked right off his hands. I don't know about that play right there. They do have all three timeouts still. It is third down for the Chicago Bears now, though. They need the first down. They get the first down. I think that's Mike Ditka, too. Is Justin Fields going to clutch up here? Let's see. They're at midfield. He's scrambling. He gets away from one, but gets wrapped up by Chris Jones. Under one minute left. Cannot afford to take any more sacks here, and he's just throwing it. Oh, obviously, this is four down territory, so they just need to get something here. Uh-oh, Justin Fields, get rid of it or he's gonna run it for the first down maybe oh he's so close i was kind of hoping they would go for it but this is a super long field goal is, are they gonna hit that no he missed it oh no that's the game too isn't it what an absolute disaster here from the chicago oh yeah that wasn't even close and so the kansas city chiefs all-time team survives against the bears in the first game which means that the chiefs take over the bears territory and every time a team wins they get to add the highest rated player from the losing team so in this case it's dick buckus all right it's time to see what team is up next for us and it's gonna be the miami dolphins now as you can see here the dolphins only have one direction to go so they will be playing the tampa bay buccaneers now i think the buccaneers are gonna be at a little bit of a disadvantage here there's no tom brady on this team because there's no duplicate players and the dolphins have a hall of fame quarterback in dan reno and they're up big to start off this game 21 to 6 28 to 6 tampa bay oh wow the buccaneers got some points at the end of the half there though it was looking like a blowout for a second but tampa bay pulled it back a little bit they're still fighting they're still staying in the game it is a two-score game still do the dolphins add points here they get three tampa bay's got to score quick here they're on a little bit of a drive and they get some points the dolphins could extend the lead again here but no three and out tampa bay is super backed up here so they got to do something here trent dilfer's got to get rid of the ball or something oh man that's so dangerously close to being a safety very scary spot for the buccaneers they're just gonna run it and is it gonna be a safety wow cadillac williams barely gets out of the end zone there things are not looking good for the buccaneers though they're gonna just run it again i mean i guess there's not much else they could do i'm not really sure why the field just flipped here uh, it just hit the two minute warning trent dover just launching it up to absolutely nobody surely the dolphins are not gonna throw the ball here right oh no they're throwing the ball this is so scary He's wide open, though. I think that's Mike Kosecki, and uh, yeah, the game is over. So the Miami Dolphins wins the first game for the Battle of Florida, and they get to add a player from the Buccaneers. And that's going to be Warren Sapp. And that's a huge defensive tackle upgrade for the Dolphins. All right, time to see what team is up next, and it's going to be the Carolina Panthers. And they can go anywhere but east, right? So they're going to go like southwest-ish. So that means they're going to be playing the Atlanta Falcons. This could be a little bit of a fun matchup. Cam Newton versus Michael Vick. Like, that could be fun. 7 nothing at the first. I'm thinking there's going to be way more points being scored here. Let's see how the second quarter goes. Carolina with a two-touchdown lead. Atlanta finally scores here, and that's going to be the half. Got to see how the third quarter is going to go, though. Falcons on a drive. They get, oh, only three points. Carolina striking right back real fast. 
fast and they get a touchdown so the falcons gotta do something quick here and that's a big touchdown but did not get the extra point they kind of had to go for two there so it makes sense carolina on a drive and they extend the lead well it's the final play for the falcons and they probably need a touchdown on this play anyways he's launching up michael vick is and that is caught what a catch who is that i want to say that was andre Ryzen, but i'm not 100 percent sure but what a catch man wow the falcons have some life here but they gotta get it into the end zone quick going towards the sideline he gets out of bounds i was ready to give up on the falcons too but things got interesting real quick going for the end zone i think he should have thrown it to kyle pitts we'll see if they can score on this play though michael vick he hasn't taken off yet oh i thought that was gonna be pick six for a sec well they kind of need to get into the end zone anytime here launching up again i don't know about these jump balls fourth down this is the game right here michael vick kind of running into somebody and that is an absolute duck to end the game so let's see who the panthers are going to add from the falcons they're going to be adding julio jones to the offense which could be nasty but up next we have the miami dolphins again and once again they only have one direction they could go so they're playing the jags if the dolphins score on this drive it might be ggs here let's see what happens and they get a touchdown so we get our first blowout ish game and now the dolphins only are going to get better here because they're going to be adding 98 overall jalen ramsey to the team the dolphins already looking like a scary team here but up next we have the pittsburgh steelers and the steelers are going to go towards the southwest oh here we go guys so the steelers are going to go towards west virginia which is an empty state now when a team moves into an empty state i am spinning this wheel of random positions this time is tight end and that means that the steelers will be adding the highest overall tight end from the teams that's already been eliminated and in this case that means they will be adding mike ditka to the team so that does mean some teams can get real good real fast but up next the philadelphia eagles and they will be going towards the south technically i could go to delaware which is an empty state but we're gonna go straight south and so it's gonna be the eagles versus the ravens all right let's see how this game is gonna go eagles on a drive getting a touchdown the ravens don't do anything and it's seven nothing now in the last imperialism video the ravens i think made it to the final two right so can they do it again this time they take the lead here right before the half how is quarter number three gonna go ravens extending the lead but the eagles are on a drive here going into the fourth quarter let's see how this drive ends for them as only a field goal happens do the ravens extend the lead here yeah they do another touchdown which means the eagles gotta score here and it's a pick by marlon humphrey oh that might be ggs guys oh, i can't believe they snapped the ball before the two minute warning that feels like a mistake but Lamar Jackson's gonna run it in for a touchdown. The game is over. I guess this shouldn't be too much of a surprise since the 2000s Ravens is like one of the best defense of all time. And speaking of the defense, it's only gonna get better because they're adding Reggie wow. White to the team. All right, we're getting some blowouts right now. Let's get some close games again. Cincinnati Bengals up next, who will be going towards the North east-ish which means we get the battle of ohio this could be a pretty interesting game the browns have jim brown who could be disgusting in this but of course the Bengals got a pretty good offense too how is quarter number two gonna go browns taking a two score lead here they get a three score lead Bengals finally getting a touchdown but man it's all browns right now are we about to get another blowout here okay Bengals get another touchdown but they can't stop the browns offense at all i'm almost ready to call this ggs but they get a touchdown here problem for the Bengals is they haven't been able to stop the browns and they get another touchdown another blowout here we got to get some close games again but the browns take all of ohio so the Bengals' highest overall is anthony munoz but the browns already have joe thomas so instead i'm gonna give them aj green i think that's what three blots in a row now we gotta get some close games again but we have the commanders and the commanders will be going towards the north there's two options here but the arrow was going a little bit towards the west so they're gonna be playing the pittsburgh steelers i think we have sammy ball versus terry bradshaw and both of these teams got like pretty good historical players so this should be a close one three nothing after the first steelers take a two score lead here but the commander striking right back and 10 7 and a half how is the third quarter gonna go here i like that it's a close game steelers get another two score lead again but we'll see how the commanders do in the fourth they got possession to start off let's get a touchdown here they get the touchdown do they get a stop here though they do commanders need at least three on this drive but it's a three and out so the steelers are gonna be looking to kill the clock here they are super backed up dumping it off i think that's levy on bell and that's a nice tackle somebody on the commander's defense gotta step up here get another pick or something but that's a first down and they are now starting to burn some clock here 
Another dump off. All right. Surely they're just going to keep running the ball here, right? Yeah, Le'Veon Bell, another run. This could be potentially the game right here. Third and three. They're running the ball. Le'Veon Bell barely gets that first down. I don't think the game is quite over yet, but it's not looking good for the commanders. I wonder if the Steelers throw the ball here. They are. Okay. They're going for a screen, though, and that goes nowhere. Ooh, I don't know about that play call. Does Sammy Ball clutch up for the commanders? Let's see what's happening. Oh, that is a bad sack to take. James Harrison just came in screaming there. Ooh, that's going to kill so much of the clock, too. 30 seconds left. Got to air it out. Dump off is such a bad play call. They're going to get a first down here, though, but I don't know if they're going to have any time left, though. Here we go. Final play of the game. Three seconds left. Got to air it out. Can't even get into the end. What? throwing it away what are we doing i mean that was one of the dumbest decisions i've ever seen in this game and i've seen the cpu do really dumb things before but hey the steelers are going to start expanding their territory here and they get a huge upgrade in 99 overall trent williams so what team is up next it's going to be the kansas city chiefs who's going to be moving towards the southeast there were so many empty spates around the chiefs but they will be playing the tennessee titans can the kansas city chiefs continue to expand their territory or will the titans win chiefs are up seven nothing how is quarter number two gonna go the titans actually should have some pretty good offensive weapons but they are doing nothing right now Jeez, 14 nothing at half i think i saw an interception at the end too I, so i believe that the titans are starting warren moon at quarterback and I don't know. It's not looking good for them. Let's see how the fourth quarter goes, though, and the Chiefs get a field goal. The Titans nope. gotta answer here. Oh, man, that's brutal. If the Chiefs score on this possession, it's GG's, and yeah, I think it's over. Absolutely brutal game for the Tennessee Titans. The Chiefs were the team that was looking the strongest in my last Imperialism video, and now the Chiefs are gonna get another upgrade here. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, the Chiefs in the last Imperialism video got Derrick Henry, and uh, they're getting him back in this video. Let's see who is up next here, and it's going to be the Houston Texans. Now, I think the Texans can only go two ways here, and they're going to be going towards the Northwest, and that means we get the battle for Texas. Now, I'm going to assume that the Cowboys have a huge advantage here just because they've been historically a great team, right? And the Texans have only come around, what, the last 20 years, but they've had some Hall of Fame players play for their team, and they have the lead at halftime right now. 9-7 game in the third quarter. This could be a potential upset here, guys. The Cowboys do take the lead going into the fourth, though. So the Texans got to get something going here in the fourth, and they get a big touchdown do the cowboys answer here they do they get their own touchdown oh turnovers have been the story for this game so far that's why the texans are staying in it but deshaun watson chilling in the pocket going for the first down and he gets it yeah thinking about it a little bit more the texans all-time team can't be that bad they've had some really good players and they're already past the 50 yard line with the two minute warning he's going for deandre hopkins who breaks a tackle gets the first down the thing is though texans are down by four so they need a touchdown can't kick a field goal deandre hopkins oh Open again another first down the texans might actually pull this off guys still plenty of time here about a minute left all timeouts are still available go for the end zone here and oh i thought he caught that does the cowboys pass rush eat here with laramie tunsil being out they're going for a screen okay oh does not work third and very long here third and 12 deshaun watson's gonna run it he might have the first down here though and a lot more he's got a slide don't eat the shot I'm kind of shocked he didn't fumble, but he's at the five. Deshaun Watson sus, but he's making plays for the Texans right now. Aaron Foster not going for... Oh, he is throwing it to Aaron Foster. Wow. Well, the Texans have two plays. They just need nine yards here, so just throw it into the end zone. Owen Daniels in the flat. He doesn't go for it. Going for the back of the end zone, and Arian Foster, I think, catches that? Wow. I actually can't believe they're going to pull this off. What is that coverage? I don't know. I don't feel good for the Cowboys here, but you never know with this game, right? He's launching it up going super deep wow what an arm i mean that's not gonna be caught it's bouncing around but what an arm from tro aikman but yeah the texans get the w in the battle for texas definitely an upset in my opinion they're gonna be adding Deion sanders to the team that's the first game that genuinely shocked me with the result but up next we have the detroit lions who will be going towards the southwestish so it looks like it's gonna be the lions versus the colts all right let's see how this game is gonna go as the lions on a drive only getting three points the colts not doing anything i'm shocked with the colts putting up zero points okay they finally get a touchdown i was gonna say like they got so many weapons on offense they got Peyton manning at quarterback right but it looks like they're going into the half yeah losing at half obviously the lions got some weapons on their team too right barry sanders calvin johnson and they have the touchdown lead going into the fourth 
fourth. I think the one thing that's hurting the Colts potentially... Oh, the Lions get a touchdown, by the way. But no Adam Vinatieri, which I, I don't know. I guess that doesn't really matter too much. But they get a touchdown real fast here. The Colts are keeping it close. This is the defense, I guess, is the biggest problem. They get more points. If the Colts don't score quick on this drive, they might be screwed here. So let's see how this drive ends up going. A lot of time goes off, but they have three timeouts still. The Colts get a touchdown. They didn't have to use any of their timeouts. It's after the two-minute warning, and they kicked it deep. That's a good start, which means that Bobby Lane is probably going to throw the No, they're just going to hand it off to Barry Sanders again. Oh, that might be face mask. Okay, not face mask. It's holding, and that's huge for the Colts. The Lions might be shooting themselves in the foot right now. They're still running it, too. I get that the Lions are trying to kill clock, but after that holding, they should have been throwing the ball. They got to throw the ball here, right? Third and 18, a minute and a half left. Just throw it up to Calvin Johnson. Why not? He's probably going to come down with it. Let's see, though. No, they're going to run it? Barry Sanders, the big run. He's going to get the first. Yeah, okay, my bad, Lions. Sorry for doubting you guys about the run game. Barry Sanders clutching up for them. I can't believe they gave up that big run to Barry Sanders to end it. Well, the good news for Peyton Manning, it's not over for him in this video because he's going to the Lions. We've definitely had some pretty interesting games so far, but up next... It's the Houston Texans again. And depending on how this era goes, they might be just straight up adding a player here. They're going Northwest. Yeah, three out of the four states they're next to is blank. So they're going to take over New Mexico and they get the spin to add a player here. And it's going to be a free safety. And the highest overall free safety from an eliminated team is Sean Taylor, which again is just a massive upgrade for the Houston Texans. The Texans might get too good too fast here. Up next the Las Vegas Raiders. Finally getting some of these West Coast teams involved and they're going towards the West. Oh, this could be a fun matchup because it's the Raiders versus the 49ers. So we've already seen one Dynasty team and the Cowboys go down, right? So we'll see how this game goes. 0-0. Zero, zero. The Raiders, to be fair, have a lot of good players overall too. So this should be another close game. It's 7-7. 14-7. Do the 49ers score? They do. Tie game. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far in this game. 49ers on a drive to start things off. The Raiders might answer here. Let's just see how this drive ends and oh only three points so the 49ers could nope. extend their lead but they don't time for the raiders to take advantage of they're on a drive they're moving only three points again i don't know about two field goals there with the 49ers offense but joe montana to george kittle for the first down no matter what happens on this drive though the raiders are gonna have a chance unless i guess they run out of time right and that's another first down surely they're gonna start killing the clock here yet yeah, run the ball roger craig another first the raiders can't stop anything right now yeah past the two minute warning it's just gonna be the run game all day good stop though keep killing the clock here for the 49ers another pretty good run but still not a first down raiders gotta force the field goal here cannot give up the first down Ooh, did he get that i think he barely did yeah and with no more timeouts that unfortunately is the game i guess the 49ers kicked the field goal <laughs> unfortunately for the 49ers though they're adding a punter i'm just glad we finally got a west coast team involved but up next the New England Patriots. Now, I think the Patriots could only go two ways here. So they're going to go Northwest-ish. And the closest team to the Northwest is the Buffalo Bills. So that's a big game. I'd have to assume that the Patriots are going to have the advantage here with, you know, having the most Super Bowls, right? Maybe the second quarter will be a different story. Bills tie it up. Okay, there we go. I believe Josh Allen is actually starting because of abilities, by the way. Third quarter could be a different story here. Patriots on a drive, tying the game up. Bills get three points. Patriots take the lead going into the fourth quarter. The Bills have the ball to start the fourth and they get the touchdown all right patriots get ball tom brady first down strike to start off this drive i think that was irving fryer i'm not 100 sure but let's see what tom brady does here after the two minute warning he is slinging it back to irving fryer minute and a half left tom brady killing it on this drive to irving fryer for the third time x factor is active for tom brady now too i don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference Dumping it off to Julian Edelman, who gets the first down. Well within field goal range to tie it up, but they want to get the lead here. They want to score touchdowns. Okay, not quite yet. That probably works into the Patriots' favor, too. Just killing a little bit more time here. Got to get into the end zone. It's a pick. What is that decision from Tom Brady? That was like triple coverage, was it not? Tredavious White clutching up for the Buffalo Bills. I can't believe it. Massive mistake from Tom Brady, who's usually clutch. Yeah, pretty much triple coverage there. I can't believe that decision from Tom Brady, but the Buffalo Bills takes over New England. I actually thought Tom Brady was going to be going to the Bills, but it's actually going to be Rob Gronkowski. I honestly thought that the teams that had dynasty teams was going to be killing it in this, but yeah, it's the Chargers now. I guess the 49ers won, so that's good, but the Chargers are going to be going towards the Northeast. Speaking of 49ers and dynasties, the Chargers are going to be playing the 49ers. Does the 49ers survive against the Chargers? They're losing early on here, but they're on a drive going into the second quarter. Let's see if they get some scores here. Okay, they get the touchdown to end that drive. They get another touchdown real fast, but the Chargers tie it back up 
It's 14-14. How is the third quarter going to go here? No score from the 49ers. Chargers get more points, but the 49ers tie it back up. And they have the ball here to start the fourth quarter on a bit of a drive, but nothing happens. Oh, the field goal was blocked. So this could end up being a big drive for the Chargers. Let's see how this goes. They get the touchdown. So Joe Montana is going to have to clutch up once again for the 49ers, airing it out, and it's not picked wow but there was a holding so they're going back they're lucky that it was only holding because that definitely should have been picked off but let's see what joe montana does this time here just dumping it off getting some yards back but they got a lot to go still you know who i haven't seen in action yet is jerry rice for the 49ers like is joe montana ever gonna throw the ball to him just throwing it into the flash to Roger Craig and gets nothing, really. I didn't like that second down play call at all. Quick throw. I think that's Jerry Rice this time, but they're still short here. There's a quick replay. It was not Jerry Rice. It was Terrell Owens, who's open in the drags, but someone's deeper down the field. I think that's uh, Dwight Clark first down. Dwight Clark is known for the catch, so maybe he's going to make another catch in this game. See what happens is a flag. It's probably going to be holding. Oh, roughing the passer. Oh, no, Chargers. That's terrible. That was a really bad play for the Chargers. But Joey Bosa, I think, gets the sack. Not a great situation for the 49ers. Another quick throw. They got two timeouts. Probably going to call one here. They did not call timeout, and they let, like, 10 seconds, over 10 seconds go off the clock. Joe Montana eats a shot, but Terrell Owens gets a first down. 17 seconds left, one timeout. Don't play action. Come on now. No one what's gonna fall for in this situation you gotta get rid of the ball here soon joe montana what are you doing you let so much time get off and that is an interception i have no idea who that is it was bryce callahan that picked off joe montana like yeah terrible so another team with the dynasty goes down the chargers getting themselves a little bit of redemption and they add joe montana who i don't know if you want him after that last play but he's now the quarterback for the chargers some pretty crazy results so far in this game and the chargers are in a good spot to get some upgrades here real quick if you guys have been enjoying this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos but yeah let's keep it rolling here the chiefs nope the chargers again and like you guys just saw the chargers got some empty states next to them they're getting one here since they're going northeast i'm gonna give them idaho here and the random position that they will be adding is going to be right guard and they're gonna get the highest overall right guard zach martin it might end up being the chargers take over here but up next the buffalo bills once again the bills mafia will be going towards the south which in this scenario i think the only team that makes sense is the new york jets if i was a betting man i'm putting my money on the bills here but so far it's zero zero a lot of interceptions it looks like actually let's see if the second quarter is going to be a different story here but nothing so far okay the bills finally get a touchdown the jets strike right back so all it took was someone for scoring i guess three point lead for the bills to get ball here nothing is happening this is a surprisingly defensive game 13 to 7 the jets could take a lead here with the touchdown and they do do the ball Buffalo Bills answer here though. Oh, wow. No, they don't. The Jets could extend the lead here and they get another touchdown. Bills got to score a touchdown and get a two point conversion, dumping it off to, I think that's Andre Reed. Right before the two minute warning, Josh Allen, quick throw towards the sideline. It's a first down. They get another play before the two minute warning now, which is nice for them. Another th nice throw at this time to Rob Gronkowski, who we just added. Plenty of time for the Buffalo Bills, but they got to get a touchdown, right? Another first down. Nice. I think that was to James Lawrence. Often, who I'm kind of surprised is on the Bills actually, but whatever. I thought he would have been on the Packers all time team, but I didn't make this roster so. But let's see if the Bills can keep it going here, throwing the ball to Stephon Dix, who's wide open, breaking a tackle. He is fighting out here and he is down at the six yard line. The Bills have yet to use any of their timeouts here, too, so they're in a pretty good spot. Got to get to six here. Oh, he was open. 35 seconds left. Can they get the touchdown? Josh Allen's going to run it himself, and he gets the touchdown. Are they going to get the two-pointer? The Jets could still escape with the win here. Handing it off. I think that's OJ Simpson, and he gets into the end zone. Never did I think I'd be recording a Madden video with OJ Simpson in it. Well, Joe Namath and the Jets get ball to start off overtime. All right, nothing there. Joe Namath's going to have to throw the ball here. Nice ball. First down. Let's see if someone on the Bills defense can step up here. Play action. Joe Namath dumping it off. That's a scary ball yeah lost yards on that so they're gonna run it on second and 12 what are we doing second and long run like that's just terrible all right joe namath on third and 13 what is he gonna do he's launching it up and no catch all right well what do the bills do here the juice getting the ball close to first down dropping back to pass this time i think that's holding it's gonna come back that's a huge throw too but i don't think it's gonna count probably to give the jets some life here but josh allen can sling it he's dumping it off 
to yeah nothing really well here we go guys third and long josh allen chilling in the pocket now he's gonna take off is he gonna get the first down no he's not he gets stopped at midfield the guarantee joe namath can he clutch it up can he guarantee this win right all right dumping it off third down run again curtis martin buffalo bill shutting it down so in our first overtime game of this video it's been a crazy crazy close game like it seems like no one wants to win right now surely josh allen's gonna launch one up at some point nope just quick throws first down actually they didn't get the first down so third and inches josh allen launching it up down the field he's got someone oh andre re dropped it seriously though does anyone want to win this game it's picked joe david throws a pick okay they're in field goal range i think that's the game yeah no hesitation from the bills they're kicking the field goal and that looks pretty good and the bills win a crazy overtime game and they get to add darrell revis to the team some of these games have been crazy but up next we have the seattle seahawks so they're gonna either get a free upgrade or they play the charger that's the only two options they're gonna get a free upgrade at least they make an appearance way earlier than the last video but yeah they're just taking over oregon the position they will be adding though is Ooh, a tight end. I guess the unfortunate thing for the Seahawks is Gronk's already on another team. Ditka's already on another team. So they're going to be adding John Mackey. Still a pretty nice upgrade for the Seahawks, though. But up next... It's the Houston Texans again. So we get another appearance from the Texans, and they have spots where they can get some upgrades too. I think based off of the map, I'm going to give the Houston Texans Arkansas. And the position that the Texans get to add is a fullback which is going to be mike allstock the texans only getting better and better out here up next the cardinals and they will be going towards the west which does mean that they're gonna try to take the chargers territory in this game in case y'all forgot the chargers just added joe montana because he choked against them but the cardinals have the lead going into the second quarter chargers get a touchdown but cardinals taking the lead right back chargers answering though this is a back and forth game right now i'm liking what i'm seeing so far but let's see if the third quarter is gonna get crazy here okay field goal and then the chargers getting a touchdown cardinals start the fourth quarter with the third down and yeah they don't get anything do the chargers extend the lead here only a field goal so this could be a big drive for the cardinals and they're driving right down the field and they tie the game up all right well it's joe montana time who's wearing number five on this team he was also just looking the weirdest direction he's watching it down the field what a catch joe montana to antonio gates antonio gates just so wide open but that was a beauty from joe montana not gonna lie it looked like a disaster at first but ladanian thompson doesn't get anything it's okay though right before the two minute warning read option with joe montana okay wasn't expecting to see that but it kind of worked out is this gonna be a first i think he's short yeah fourth and inches see this is how you know madden's unrealistic because brandon staley absolutely goes for it in this situation but hey the chargers get a three-point lead here all right well i guess it's kyler murray time here dump off all right we have weapons on this team too he's launching it up i don't know who he's launching up it's larry Ooh. fitzgerald he overthrew him he had him too that was a touchdown too wow dude someone came in screaming there all right well it's fourth down the game isn't quite over yet yet they're going for the sideline out of bounds and so the chargers survive versus the cardinals and the chargers add pat p to their team it's looking like the chargers are going to take over the entire west coast up next the denver broncos some of you guys might remember what the denver broncos did in the first imperialism video but for now they're just going to take over kansas and the random position they get to add to the team is a defensive tackle and that's going to be bob lily from the cowboys we'll see if the broncos make another run in this imperialism but up next the Carolina Panthers, and they are going to be going towards the Northwest. And that's going to be a pretty big matchup because they're going to be playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Both of these teams have had some upgrades. Panthers starting off with a touch, a two-score lead for them in the first quarter. Wow. Chiefs get three, though. Early lead for the Panthers. Do they keep it going? Okay, they extend the lead a little bit here. Man, it is all Panthers right now. That's a little bit shocking to me. Do the Chiefs start coming back in the third quarter, though? Not really. They are just not scoring touchdowns right now. They got the ball to start the fourth quarter, though. They need a touchdown. They get it. But now they got to stop the Panthers, who look like they've been killing it on offense, and they get another touchdown. The Chiefs pretty much need to score a touchdown this drive, or else it might be GG's already, and they get the touchdown. So now the Chiefs got to get a stop on on defense cam newton dumping it off to christian mccaffrey okay a little bit surprised that they're throwing the ball yeah this is more like it run the ball get the first oh they're short that ball is past the first down marker but anyways third and inches they're just gonna run it christian mccaffrey first down 
probably game. I think the Panthers need one more first down to really seal things up. Oh, okay. The Chiefs kind of need a turnover though, because best case they get what, 20 seconds? I'm not sure about this decision to go five wide here for the Panthers, but let's see what happens. Cameron back it up. I guess he could run it, but he's just going to throw it to uh, nobody. And this gives the Chiefs some life because they threw it. They have 56 seconds. You got to get this out of, oh, dropped it. That situation incomplete pass is going to help him out, but they got to move it down. Ooh, I don't know about keeping this in bounds. If anyone's got the arm to get this into the end zone, though, it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Let's see what they do. Probably should air it out. He is airing out. He's so wide open. Oh my God, they're going to score the touchdown. What a play, guys. This is the craziest thing that's happened in the video so far. I mean, just an absolute defensive blunder from the Panthers here. I thought it was a one-point game. They got to go for two here to tie it up. Patrick Mahomes going for the end zone, and they tie it up. Chiefs get ball first. Patrick Mahomes' X-Factor is active, and they start off with the ball to Travis Kelsey. I don't know what the second red line is for. Surely that's not field goal range, because that'd be a little bit crazy, right? Breaking a tackle. Priest Holmes. Oh, my God. What a run by Priest Holmes. The Chiefs are killing it right now. Another ball to Travis Kelsey, and they're close to the first down again. At least the Panthers are going to get the ball back, but... They are not looking good on this drive. Another first down. Anything can happen still, though. Running the ball, good stop. Yeah, that was Derrick Henry making an appearance. But third down, that's an easy conversion for the Chiefs. 13 yards away from the end zone. Run again, but this time the Panthers get a stop. The Chiefs are coming out in five wider. Okay, okay. Ball to Tony Gonzalez, closer to first down. Kind of surprised they're not trying to run the ball here. Five wide again. Patrick Mahomes scrambling. Uh-oh, that's not looking good. That's a huge sack for the Panthers. Panthers have some life here. They just need a touchdown to win this game. It's Cam Newton time. Is he going to clutch up for the Panthers? Airing it out here. First down to Christian McCaffrey, I think that is. Yeah, it was Christian McCaffrey. Hard to see the numbers sometimes. Christian McCaffrey, again, fighting close to the first down. It's been all Christian McCaffrey this drive. Five wide here, though. Cam Newton going for who is that it was greg olsen who caught that so yeah big first down they're gonna keep it moving cam newton should just taken off there he had so much space but he's airing it out that was so dangerous yeah cam's lucky that that wasn't picked on because that was stupid but they get another first down to greg olsen hold up why are the panthers kicking a field goal here it's their first drive it doesn't matter if the clock runs out here they tie it up, but what are they doing? It makes absolutely no sense why Madden made him kick a field goal there because overtime would have been extended anyways. Oh, would you look at that? Another overtime. Madden makes no sense. That's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in this game. I've seen some pretty dumb things. The Panthers might actually get robbed in this game. And it's also now a scenario where the Chiefs just need a field goal too, right? Like, nah, they're gonna actually get robbed. It's disgusting. Third down here though, they're gonna run it. Gets the first down. Yeah, this game is over. Let's see if the Chiefs at least makes this field goal. I mean, they should, right? That's terrible, man. That's so bad. I think the fairest way to do this is if I just resim the entire game here. I've been in spots where it was getting close to the end of the first overtime on the person's uh, first drive, and I've never seen Madden do that before. So, yeah, that was crazy. But we're going to see if the ball doesn't lie here, right? The Chiefs got a two-score lead in uh, the fourth quarter, and, okay, the Chiefs get the victory. So, yeah, in one of the weirdest games of all time, the Chiefs win and they take over the Panthers' territory. The Chiefs are going to be adding not Luke Keighley because they already have Dick Buckus. They already got Derrick Henry, so Julio Jones is moving on to his third team. I guess the Panthers did make a dumb decision in not running the ball at the end of the game, too, so yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was a weird game, but we've reached the halfway point, and this is what the map is looking like with the, the Dolphins sneaking in there. A lot of empty states and a lot of teams that haven't played yet, too. But yeah, let's see who's up next, and it's going to be the Detroit Lions, who's going to be going towards the South west and just like that the chiefs are back up hopefully no more ea shenanigans in this game with the chiefs right lions take the lead early on and 14 nothing uh oh not looking good for the chiefs to start off here 17 nothing lions chiefs finally get a touchdown and they get three okay so they're only down by a touchdown things are looking really bad for the chiefs for a second there they are not gonna tie it up Lions get another touchdown. It's a touchdown game going into the fourth. And it looks like the Lions got a big third down to start the fourth. Yeah, nothing. Let's see if the Chiefs could tie things up to start the fourth. No, they don't. They got the touchdown, but not the two-point conversion. But the Lions don't do anything. So the Chiefs could potentially take the lead here. Let's see what happens on this drive. A lot of time going down, and they get a touchdown. What a comeback by the Chiefs, but it's not over yet. Let's see what the Lions do here. What a throw. I kind of forgot Peyton Manning's on the Lions down. What a throw. And there's still plenty of time left on the clock. Oh, that looked a little scary. Breaking a tackle, Amorat St. Brown. I'm surprised we're seeing Amorat St. Brown and not Calvin Johnson or Herman Moore, but let's see what happens on the second down. Still throwing it. Wow, laser again. Peyton Manning has been slinging it, and he's working the clock a little bit here. 
dump off to Barry Sanders, and they don't get anywhere, though. Third down, Peyton Manning airing it out once oh. again. Oh, he had him. Might come down to this fourth down here. Got to get a first down. They do get the first down. They still have all three of their timeouts. Peyton Manning has 25 seconds to get 22 yards. Going for the end zone here, and what a catch. Who else but Calvin Johnson with a massive catch. That's who I thought we were going to see more of. But first and goal, surely, yeah, they're going to throw it to the end zone. It's picked. It's picked, but there's a flag, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, my God. It is pass interference, guys. What a break for the Lions. First and goal, one yard away, and the Lions get the touchdown to take the lead. Going for two to make this a field goal game here. He's open. Calvin's open. Calvin Johnson, two-pointer. So the Kansas City Chiefs are looking for a miracle. But once again, if anyone's going to launch one up, it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. But he's going to run it instead. And he's going to get to midfield here. Oh, jeez. Definitely not in field goal range, but made the Hail Mary so much easier. So let's see the launch. Hail Mary time. Going towards the end zone. Plenty of distance and nothing happened let's be real the chiefs probably should have lost their last game anyways but the lions gain a huge chunk of territory here and they will be adding tony gonzalez to their lineup up next is it going to be the rams it is going to be the rams and they can only go one way finally get one of the teams that hasn't played yet and they are landlocked by the chargers so that's the matchup chargers have had some big upgrades too right so the rams are gonna be at a little bit of a disadvantage but they got some pretty good legends on their team chargers with the touchdown lead see what quarter number two is gonna bring us here as the rams tie it up here are they gonna take the lead they do take the lead and they have the lead at halftime. All right, third quarter. Rams extending their lead. The Chargers are trying to fight back. Rams getting a few more points. Five-point game. And they have the ball here, so they can extend the lead, and they get a touchdown. Chargers got to answer on this drive. Nope. They have to, and they don't. The Rams got the ball pretty much in field goal territory here, too, so they should get... Oh, they don't extend the lead. Chargers got to score on this drive, though, and they get a touchdown. One more first down might be the game. Or just dump... Or just hand it off to Marshall Falk, and that's a massive run from Marshall Falk. Wow! He did did go out of bounds though so that stopped the clock but i don't know if that's gonna really matter here we go marshall falk time again gotta tackle him gotta wrap up guys third down yeah i thought they were gonna throw it probably should run it anyways but that's game right there is that a touchdown it is a touchdown two score lead big catch by cooper cup and the game is over and just like that all this west coast territory is going to the rams kurt warner did look pretty good but joe montana is going to his third team big territory teams going down right now but up next it's the saints welcome to the video which way are the saints going to be going towards though northeast so that's gonna be mississippi it's an empty state but they get an upgrade position that the saints are gonna be able to add is a halfback the timing could have not worked out any more perfect for the saints because they are adding ladanian tomlinson we still actually have a few teams that haven't played yet too but let's see who's up next is it gonna be the saints again hey welcome back maybe they're gonna pick up alabama this time uh nope they're not northeast oh okay this is gonna be big because they're gonna be playing the Detroit Lions. I know it's different teams now, but Payne Manning potentially looking for revenge versus Drew Brees, but the Saints have the lead. See how quarter number two is going to turn out, though. Okay. Lions not doing anything surprisingly. Okay, they finally get a touchdown, though, but the Saints with the two touchdown lead at halftime. Kind of surprised by this score right now, but the Lions start off with the touchdown, and okay, they're coming back now. Three point game. Saints got ball first in the fourth. They get a touchdown, which means Payton Man has got to strike, and that's a touchdown for them. How does Drew Brees and the Saints answer here, though? A lot of killing of the clock there, and they get it three points. It's Payton Manny time once again. Let's see what he does. I thought that was picked. <laughs> wow. Pass interference, Tracy Porter. So that's going to help him out a little bit here, but they still got to get the touchdown. Calvin Johnson, first down. Pass the two-minute warning now. Let's see what Peyton Manning and the Lions do. The screen is a terrible decision. They're trying to save their timeouts right now, though, but yeah, they lost some yards there. Uh, or, yeah, I'm a rock. Okay, but they're still short. They call their first timeout. It's third down now going for the first down that's a oh out of bounds not even caught anyways well here we go guys fourth down gotta get a first down here not even close to the first down marker what are we doing pay manning and the lions who look like the strongest team so far in the video goes down and tony gonzalez is now moving on to his third team what i'm learning so far is that no team is safe right now up next the New York Giants. Welcome to the video, New York Giants. They are going southwest. And somehow the Giants avoid playing a game because they're going to take over Delaware. And even though Delaware is a tiny state, the Giants get a free upgrade. And that upgrade is going to be a free safety. So now Ronnie Lott is going to the New York Giants. Well, let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving out here. 
LA Rams are back up. And they're looking to expand their territory in the West as they go northeast so looking at their map we actually have a few options they're gonna get an empty space no matter what they're gonna get montana and of course this means they get a free upgrade here and it's gonna be a center so they're gonna be adding jim Otto to their team there's actually two teams that have yet to do anything in this video but we have the seahawks this time and the only thing the seahawks can do is play the rams do the rams end up taking over the entire west coast let's see what happens seven three this is the first game the seahawks have actually been in too right because they had that one upgrade with john mackey whoa 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 a lot of scoring's going on in this second quarter 10 point lead for the seahawks so many things just happened there third quarter rams pulling it back to a three point game and the seahawks are on a drive to start the fourth quarter trying to score a touchdown and they get it so it's a two score lead the rams gotta score here and they get their touchdown do the seattle seahawks answer here oh they're on a huge drive only three though the rams burn two of their timeouts too and they stay in bounds here Ooh, i don't like this under a minute left joe montana dumping it off oh no get out of bounds marshall falk oh, he's still in bounds a lot of time is getting burned off here but joe montana's got to start airing it. i don't like these dump offs you're gonna run out of time uh a lot of times getting burned off joe montana he throw the ball do something oh and it's picked oh no just an absolute blunder at the end for the rams there i think joe montana is going to his fourth team and the seahawks take over all the west coast territories now yep joe montana is going to team number four of this video it seems like joe montana is not helping any of these teams out right now but ooh, welcome back texans it's been a little bit since we've seen the texans and they are going north i think that's a free space i think the texans have only played one game right they just keep getting all these free territories they're taking oklahoma here hey someone's got to get those states right but they're going to be adding a right outside linebacker oh and that's going to be Derek thomas i think the texans are finally going to have to start playing some people next time but up next the dolphins i think the dolphins could get a free spot if they go northwest but they're going straight north oh and that does mean they're going to be attacking this massive saints territory for me it's been like five hours since the dolphins have played so i don't really remember who's on the dolphins now but they have a seven point lead, 14 nothing at halftime are they about to take over all that space 21 nothing oh man we haven't had like a massive blowout in a while oh saints get a stop i think it's too little too late though but they got a score they get a touchdown i still think this game is over though yeah the game is pretty oh fumble whoa yeah minute 23 no timeouts though yeah i think this game is over the dolphins are going to go from sitting only in florida to all this space now and they're going to be taking lt from the saints it seems like multiple upgrades are not helping out these teams right now as these territories keep losing giants are back up i think there's two potential teams they could be playing here and they're going southwest so they're going to be playing the ravens first game for the giants ravens have one win so far so this could be anyone's game here, and it's 10-7. How is quarter number two going to go? The Ravens score pretty quick. The Giants answer, and it's kind of it for the second quarter. 17-12 is definitely an interesting uh, scoreline. 17-15 now. Ravens get a big touchdown, though. Giants got to score. They probably need a touchdown, and they get the touchdown. What do the Ravens do here, though? Oh, they're on a drive. Big touchdown. Probably should move down the field a little bit faster. They're chilling in the pocket. Okay. Nice ball. <sighs> gotta get out of bounds what is he gonna do he's sitting in the pocket launching this ball up towards the end zone they're so short but wow what a big play they need a score on this play and then they gotta get a two point Ooh, time is running out for the giants they gotta score probably on this play and okay big touchdown it's gonna come down to this onside kick and oh that's terrible so the ravens move on and the ravens defense only gonna get better with lawrence taylor on the team now so we're down to our last 10 teams there's still two teams that have yet to play and it's the dolphins now the dolphins just got all that territory from the saints too so they're going northwest and with how big this uh territory is uh we can kind of pick and choose i think we're gonna play the packers are the packers gonna be the next team that just upsets this massive territory team quarter number two packers not really doing anything so far they're on a drive here touchdown okay and now the Dolphins aren't doing anything. Very low scoring game so far. Maybe the third quarter is going to be different. No, it's no scoring so far. 7-7 seven, seven still. I guess it's just a defensive game. Okay, finally more points. Do the Packers answer nope. here. Big drive, but nothing. So that means the Dolphins could potentially put this game away. And that's a huge touchdown. We might as well sim this next possession because the Packers got to score quick. They're down two scores. Let's see what happens. They got to put some points on the board here. 
three seconds left and yeah they didn't get the onside kick so it's over but aaron Rodgers is not going back to this cave quite yet so that leaves us with one more team that hasn't played but it's the ravens up again hey they just had that big w so they're gonna try to keep that going they're going south and we're gonna get a divisional rivalry game with the steelers so who's gonna win this divisional matchup three points to the ravens steelers getting a touchdown though quarter number two ravens finally getting a touchdown but the Steelers tie right back up. And this is going to be a close, close game. Second halftime. The Steelers looking to extend the lead. They extend the lead. Ravens get a touchdown back, though. Ravens got to put some points on the board here. And that's a big touchdown. Do they get the stop here, though? Oh, they're going to run out of time. Okay, okay, okay. Ravens burn three timeouts. But that's a big first down catch and a lot of yards. Hollywood Brown making a play for us. All right, so we're chilling at midfield. Lamar, another first down. Just slinging it out here. Yeah, clutch catch by Rashad. John Bateman, but they got to hurry this up. They got no timeouts. 20 seconds left. Zero timeouts. Sideline or you know end zone okay sideline gets out of bounds not really sure if that play was worth the time that just got burnt off but we'll see oh no you can't throw across the middle of the field Lamar I don't think they have time to run another play here yeah that's game wow four 99s and the Ravens can't win but yeah Steelers get Ray Lewis and that means we have reached our final eight and this is what the map is looking like let me know in the comments who you guys think is winning this entire thing oh man this has been a super interesting video the Texans are back up I actually think there's a scenario where they don't play a game again but they're going north northeast ish and that does mean that they're going to be attacking the dolphins here texans got a bunch of upgrades but this is only their second game the dolphins have been winning a bunch though and the dolphins just added aaron Rodgers too but they're doing nothing on offense right now 10 nothing at halftime nope the dolphins get a touchdown that's a big touchdown to get right before the end of the half too so let's see how this third quarter is going to go dolphins on another drive going into the fourth let's see how this drive ends they get a touchdown do the texans answer here are they getting a touchdown they do get a touchdown which means the dolphins got to an answer here Ooh. now and no they don't the texans could potentially put this game away here let's see what happens nothing so aaron Rodgers and the dolphins have three timeouts only down by three points they probably want to get a touchdown though but another quick throw okay is another super team about to go down here third and eight pass interference i think so this is gonna be big yards for the dolphins just like that with the pass interference they're on the other side of the field here other side of the 50 okay they're working it right now i guess the texans are also a super team too they just haven't really been playing games that's a big first down for the dolphins and so many yards so just about a minute left plenty of time that is an absolute beauty from aaron Rodgers. 39 seconds first and goal here aaron Rodgers going for the end zone oh mark clayton came out of the end zone but hey they're at the one yard line now second go Aaron Rodgers could run this oh I don't know he should just ran it right up the middle here going nope they're only one yard out so they should just run this ball here and it looks like they're going to with Ladanian Thompson who's stuffed no they get the touch I thought he was short for a sec what a drive from Aaron Rodgers the Texans got three timeouts though so the game is not over he's letting so much time burn here so going for the end zone once again time is running out and no catch i don't know guys this is starting to look like the dolphins video to lose here look at all that space they have and they're adding Deion sanders from the texans i'm pretty sure the dolphins are going to be attacked by every single team for the rest of the video Ooh, the browns yeah the browns have just been hanging out in ohio this entire time they're going northeast and that means they're playing the pittsburgh steelers do the steelers defend their home territory once again the browns up to a 14 nothing uh oh not looking good for the steelers to start things off but they okay they get points real fast and wow they take the lead that was 24 points in the third quarter or the second quarter right that's crazy but the browns get a touchdown back do the steelers nope. extend the lead no they don't browns got to try to tie yeah. this up here but wow nothing steelers really could put this game away right here and right now they're killing the clock they get more points too which unfortunately for the browns means they have to score on this drive super fast so let's see what happens they're gonna run out of time they do get a touchdown but seven seconds and of course they don't get the onside kick so the Steelers defend their home territory once again and now Jim Brown goes to the Steelers still a lot of empty spaces here and again there's still a team that hasn't played but the Dolphins are back I don't know if spinning the arrow is gonna really help things out here but they're gonna go south oh I actually have an idea for this and by looking at the map you probably can see where I'm going with this but yeah I'm gonna give them Alabama because they have everything else around it and they really don't need another upgrade but the rules are the rules and they get a free safety oh man they're gonna be adding ed reed to their team once again i think this is the dolphins video to lose right now 
the Steelers are back. And they're going to be going towards the south. It's the Dolphins. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The arrow's going a little bit southwest, so I'm giving them Kentucky. They're probably going to end up playing the Dolphins anyway, so might as well upgrade somebody, and they get a free safety. Super unlucky that they didn't get Ed Reed, but they're going to get Ronnie Lott. Hey, someone's got to take these empty states at some point, right? So the Seahawks are back up. Probably going to be another empty space. Yeah, they're going to get another empty space. Just based off of the map, I'm going to give him Wyoming here. Position they will be receiving is a left tackle. Anthony Munoz is going to be a big upgrade for them. I guess we're just cleaning up the empty spaces right now. The Dolphins are back, guys. The crazy thing is there's still one team that hasn't done anything here. Dolphins going northeast. So we're going to get that Dolphins-Steelers matchup. This could be a pretty interesting one just because the Dolphins have been winning so many games, but the Steelers have been defending their home ground. 0-0 zero, zero after one quarter. Steelers finally getting some points on the board. Two touchdown lead for them. Dolphins score, though. This is going to be a big third quarter here. Dolphins going to answer with just a field goal, and the Steelers get another touchdown. Are the Steelers about to win by multiple touchdowns here? They have the ball to start the fourth. They get another touchdown. Things are not looking good for the Dolphins, but they get a big tutty. But they got to stop the Steelers' offense, and they get another touchdown. Dolphins got to score quick here. Super fast. Okay, that's big. But yeah, down two scores. Okay, are they going to get the stop here? Let's see. Nope, they don't. Time runs out. Aaron Rodgers can't go back to that cave yet because he's going to the Steelers now so we got five teams left here and it's gonna be the Buffalo Bills and they can only go one way here it might just be the fact that the Steelers have been playing at home almost every single game and it's giving them that home field advantage but we'll have to see if the Buffalo Bills could finally beat the Pittsburgh Steelers but Steelers have a two score lead two three score lead at halftime things are already looking really bad for the Bills are they finally yeah they finally get some points but the Steelers right back and I think this game is already over it's looking like as long as the Steelers are the home team that they're going to keep winning. This is an absolute blowout. So the Steelers have already added a tight end. So we're going to give them Bruce Smith here. So we have reached the final four and the Vikings and Broncos have yet to play a game. In fact, the Vikings have done nothing this video so far. But there are a lot of unclaimed states left. So they can still get pretty good. And it's the Broncos. Broncos also got a lot of unclaimed states near them. So they are going to go north. So they're going to get Nebraska here. And of course, they're going to get a random position to upgrade here. And it's going to be a wide receiver and jerry rice is gonna go to the broncos all right let's keep spinning this wheel and see what happens here as the seahawks are up could be a potential empty space or it's gonna be the broncos they're going northeast and i think that just means they get north dakota and for the random position that they get Oh, corner. And Deion Sanders is back in this video. Okay, we're getting rid of these empty spaces now, and it's going to be the Vikings finally. If a team needs an empty space, it's going to be the Vikings, but let's see where they're going to go. Southwest. And they get very lucky here because South Dakota is southwest of them. We're just sorting out these teams right now before the big finale, but they are going to be adding a strong safety. Unfortunately for them, the Steelers are still alive, so they are going to get the Honey Badger. Next team up. It's the Seahawks again. Now, where do the Seahawks go this time as they go... Ooh, okay, Northeast. I could potentially give them Utah, but I think we got to play the Vikings here. Will the Vikings be a one and done or are they going to beat the Seahawks? Okay, they're up after the first. Let's see what happens in the second quarter. Adding three more points, but the Seahawks tie it right back up. Vikings getting a big touchdown though. Okay, let's see how this third quarter is going to go for the Vikings. They extend the lead. Two touchdown lead going into the fourth. This could potentially be huge for the video as the Seahawks get nothing. Vikings score here. It might be GG's, guys and they get another touchdown. And after being dormant for the entire video, the Vikings win their first game and move on to the final three. Who would have thought the map would end up like this? Is this team number five or team number six for Joe Montana? I've lost count. All right, we're reaching the end here. Up next, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. This could be dangerous for the Steelers because they've been playing home a lot here. They're going Northwest. And that's going to mean that they play the Vikings here. Let's see if the Vikings can go on a miracle run here. Three nothing Steelers. Oh, two score lead. Miracle run where the Steelers continue to dominate. Let's see. Nothing's really... Okay, finally getting a touchdown here. Vikings finally getting some points. Do the Vikings pull this back in the third quarter? Okay, that's a huge touchdown. Steelers scoring right back, though. And they're on a bit of a drive here. Let's see how it ends. Okay, only three points. Vikings gotta get a touchdown on this drive, though. They're looking pretty good here, and they get it. They gotta get a stop here, though. And they get the stop. I think they punted it, too. So they just got a really good uh, return or something. That's a first down. Joe Montana is playing for his life in this video here let's see if he can keep it going 
he almost threw a pick. It's not like Joe Montana's, you know, played on 500 teams already too, right? This team has Adrian Peterson, but Cordero Patterson's chilling. I guess they gotta throw the ball here. What a laser from Joe Montana. Now Adrian Peterson's in the huh? backfield, but it's a jet sweep. Ugh. You have one of the best backs of all time. You're running a jet sweep to Chris Carter instead. That's a nice ball though. Surely they just run it with Adrian Peterson. No, they're throwing the ball. Just dump it off to Adrian Peterson. He's wide open, but he can't catch it. See, I think they should have ran the ball on third down, but fullback dive, fourth down, and they get the touchdown anyways. Did they leave too much time for Aaron Rodgers, though? Is Aaron Rodgers going to break the Vikings fans' hearts once again? That's a first down. 30 seconds left. Haven't called any of their timeouts. I'm sure they're going to call it out. What a throw. He's out of bounds, though. That would have been huge for them, but it's okay. Aaron Rodgers again. Nice throw past midfield now. They might need to get like a few more yards closer. I'm surprised they're throwing the ball here. Oh my god, that's a huge sack. They put themselves in a really bad spot now, but Aaron Rodgers with the laser. Oh, that might be the game, guys. And it's all up to Chris Boswell here, and he should be able to drill this and he does. And Aaron Rodgers breaks Vikings fans' hearts once again. And the Steelers are going to be adding Randy Moss to their team now. So we are now down to our last two teams, but there are two empty states here. So I'm going to give the Broncos a chance here, okay? If the wheel lands on them, I'm going to give them both of those states and two upgrades. But the wheels got to hit on them here. 50-50 chance, and they get it. The Broncos with two upgrades. Oh, that could be an absolute game changer for the Broncos. So the first position they get, right end. And that's going to be 99 overall, Miles Garrett. And position number two is going to be a wide receiver. So they're going to have Jerry Rice and Devontae Adams on their team. So this is what the final map is looking like going into the final game. Are the Broncos actually about to do this again? <laughs> or do the Steelers end up dominating this entire video? And I'm spinning the wheel one last time to determine who the away team is gonna be. And it's gonna be the Broncos. It's only right that the Imperial, the defending imperialism champions, Broncos, gets to play in the final game. Also, I'm pretty sure this is their first game of the entire video. They've had upgrades, but yeah, first game of the entire video, three-point game at half. Does anyone pull away here in the third quarter? 17-14, Steelers getting the lead. The Broncos on a drive, but it's gonna end here. I'm gonna assume they're just gonna kick a field goal here, right? Yeah, they do. Steelers looking to extend the lead, maybe with a touchdown. They get the touchdown. So the Broncos probably need to score a touchdown here, but they don't. So in the final game of the video, the Steelers are looking to continue their dominance, and that brought us to the two-minute warning. So the Steelers are just looking to kill some clock here. The Broncos defense has to get this stop here the Steelers just gonna keep it on the ground and the Broncos get the stop so it all comes down to this John Elway and the Broncos what a laser for the first down they gotta get a touchdown and a two-point conversion the no John Elway you can't eat that sack oh that's pretty bad for the Broncos and they're still short of the first down marker about 30 seconds get rid of the play action there okay that's a sideline throw to Ed McCaffrey so they get on the other side of the 50 here but again they need touchdowns airing this out dangerous ball they're starting to run out of time here that was so dangerous oh, i don't like this i don't like that at all it just felt like a wasted down there but yeah third down it's two or four down territory anyways john l has got to get rid of this ball i can't afford to take another sack there is this going to be the final play of the game no more timeouts probably needs to put this into the end zone anyways and he's going for it here is it going to be a miracle it is not. So in the all-time team NFL imperialism, one of the best teams of all time, Pittsburgh Steelers, wins the whole thing. Probably expected that one of the teams that had a dynasty run in the past wins the whole thing, but I mean, we saw a bunch of those teams lose early on too, right? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. YouTube recommends that you watch this video next, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.